Hello, this is Michael McCarthy, and in this video we're going to take a look at using some HDRI lighting in order to light the scene and set up a nice kind of environment for our objects. Now, in the scene that you opened here, we have a camera and a basic object to render as well as a plane for it to reside on, but we don't have any lights in the scene yet. So when we click on render here, you'll see we get really basic render. You can see there's no lights or shadows. We do have some maps set up to reflect the environment, but we don't have any environment quite yet. So what we'll do is go into the environment and just click on none. We're going to double click on bitmap to add our bitmap. So we're going to grab our HDR file. This is the uh, St. Peter's probe and open that up. We'll choose OK. Now when you add a map like this uh, to the environment, by default it makes it screen. So let's just uh, pop open the material editor and let's drag this map into the material editor as an instance. And you can see that it's set to screen. And let's just set this to a spherical environment so that it will map onto our environment the way that we want. And we can render this out. We should get some better reflections. We're not going to really have a lot of lighting, or any lighting for that matter. But you can see the reflections in the sheen is much better on some of the chrome objects and things like that. Next what we'll do is get some lighting out of this environment by going to uh, create lights, standard lights, and let's just grab a skylight and drag that out. doesn't really matter where you put it in the scene. Usually I'll create it in the top view. And then in the skylight properties in the modify panel, you want to ask it to use the scene environment as its sky color. So now it's going to look at the environment as far as the sky color goes, and it's going to light with that. The next thing we'll have to do in order to actually get light in this environment with that is go into the render settings and we're going to want to turn on indirect illumination with final gather. And the draft setting will be fine for right now. So now when we click on render we have our skylight which will be lighting the scene and you can see we have a much different result than what we had before. We have kind of some nice soft shadows in places and uh, some nice soft lighting that kind of takes the color and intensity from that HDRI image. Now if we want to pump this up a little bit, we can go in and select this and go in here and just set our uh, multiplier to 2 and that will give us a little bit more power to our light. And uh, we can also adjust the final gather a little bit if we want to make it um, a, a little bit more accurate. We'll render that out real quick. So you can see this is a lot brighter and it gives us a little bit of a finer result in the overall rendering. The next thing we're going to do, you can kind of see that this is a kind of floating and while the nice global illumination from the HDR lighting is um, looking pretty good, we want to add uh, a direct light so that we have some actual shadows kind of cast in places and not just soft shadows. If you do want to tune just your soft shadows uh, before that, what you can do or I recommend you doing is going into the processing tab and setting a material override and that way everything will just kind of be gray and you can really see the way that the lighting is affecting the scene. So when we render this just as a gray setup, you can really start to see some of that soft lighting and details in here. And then you can adjust things like your multiplier and final gather settings in order to get them a little bit more precise. So let's go back and we'll turn that back off. And let's go and create a direct light. So we'll create a target direct light here in the front view. Just kind of drag that out. And we'll want to set the hotspot and fall off to be big enough to encompass the scene, like so. And we're going to set our shadows to be on and ray trace shadows. And then we can go in and render this out and see what we have. All right, so this comes up and we have some pretty nice shadows. I think I might adjust it so that they're facing a little bit more this way. And you can see that we have uh, that nice bright direct light coming in here, which we could probably reduce. Um, I, you know, we have a lot of light coming in from the HDRI, so I'll probably just uh, set this to maybe 0.5. 
and you can give that some color too and then we'll just move this light so that it kind of comes over this way and we'll do another quick render there so now you can see this goes through and we have a nice kind of balanced setup and we're getting uh, nice shadows here uh, direct shadows from the direct light on the ground and on the object itself to kind of detail that as well as uh, nice soft shadows and, and lighting from our skylight that's using the HDRI image. The other thing that you might want to play with here is if you go into the environment effects you can see that MR photographic exposure control is on and we're using a real uh, basic exposure control and you can adjust we'll just click on preview here and let that go through and then you can adjust some things um, you know like the highlights and the burn and uh, the midtones so that you can get just the right kind of exposure control. This is using just the basic image control uh, but you could select any one of the presets here to uh, get something a little bit more photographic. So that's the basics on a quick way to set up HDRI lighting inside uh, 3ds Max or your chosen application. Thank you very much.